Okay, I'm going to log in as a normal user into Alfresco and we see here the user's dashboard. I'm logged in as test user 5 and this is test user 5's dashboard which test user 5 can customize by clicking customize dashboard. I might want to change the layout of my dashboard so go from a two column view to a three column layout. I might want to add some new dashlets to my dashboard. Let's look at some of the out-of-the-box dashlets and let's grab the saved search dashlet. We'll drop it into column three and the web view dashlet. We'll drop it into column two. Maybe I want to make the web view dashlet the top dashlet in the list so I'll just reorganize. Click OK and now I can see that the new dashlets have been added to my dashboard. Now they need to be configured so let's put my favorite ECM related website into the web view dashlet here and click OK. Now we can see the ecmarchitect.com site sitting in the web view dashlet in my dashboard. Similarly for saved search, we'll go configure the dashlet and we'll give it a search term. I'll just use the word sample. We'll call it sample docs and when I click OK I can see all the documents in the repository that match that search term. And let's make that dashlet a little bit bigger. So I'll drag the bottom of the dashlet down and now it looks pretty good. I can see all of the documents that match that search criteria. Alright, now I will log out and log in as a different user. And what you'll see is that um, clearly this dashboard looks like the default dashboard so the changes that test user 5 made are not showing up here in the Jeff Potts dashboard. Now this user is a manager of a site called product launch so we can change the look of the site dashboard by clicking customize dashboard when we are looking at the site dashboard and I can change the layout if I want to I'll just leave it in the two column layout. Let's add a different dashlet. Let's add the site notice dashlet and the image preview dashlet. Put them at the top of the columns here. Maybe maybe the site content dashlet isn't useful for us so I'll drag it to the trash can. Click OK and now we can see the two dashlets in the site dashboard. So the site no notice dashlet is useful for giving your site members uh, some sort of notice or announcement. So I'll just put that the product launch is this Friday and maybe make that text bold and save it. Let's log back in as test user 5 and we can see that test user 5's dashboard is still the way uh, he configured it earlier and when we log in to the site we see the site dashboard as the manager set it. We can reset our user dashboard if we want to. Just drag and drop the dashlets into the trash can and change the layout back to the two column layout. Click OK. And we're back to how we had it.